Hello everyone. Today let's try to record advance payments from customers. So the first thing that we're going to do is to click record deposits. Let's deposit the money to the Banco de Oro account. The date is October 23rd. The memo is optional. And the money is from 1268 JMJ customer. And the account is accounts receivable. Let's put in a memo. Check number is optional. Payment method is optional. Class is optional. The amount is 10,000. Right, and then I will click save and close. So when we go back to the customer center, it will create a negative amount on the customer account. Let's now create the invoice. I'll go to the home page and then click create invoice put in the customer name class is optional account is accounts receivable the date is october 25th invoice number the, let's leave the other information optional i will first put in the item code and this is for 10 pieces at 1000 each Let's make it non vatable so that it will equal to the advance payment of 10000 I will click Save here. And QuickBooks will prompt you that there's a credit for this customer account. We'll click Yes since it is the same amount with the invoice. And it brings up the Apply Credits window. And as you can see, it will assume that we will automatically apply the 10,000 advance payment to this invoice. Make sure that there's a check mark here. All right. And then the amount to pay, this is the amount that we're going to apply to the invoice, which is 10,000. I will click done. Okay. So the invoice will be stamped as paid. The balance due is zero. Let's click save and close. And then going back to the customer center. The customer balance is now zero. Aside from using this icon in recording the advance payment from our customer, we can also create a journal entry instead. So let's create a journal entry, company, and then make general journal entries. The date is October 25th. The account is accounts receivable. It's a credit of 5,000, a memo of advance payment. And then the name is the same customer. The other information are optional. And then the debit account is the bank account. Let's, let's deposit it to the Bank of Commerce account. Okay, and then I will click Save and Close. So going back to the customer center, There's a negative 5,000 in the customer account. So let's create an invoice and then let's assume that this 5,000 is 50% down payment. So let's create an invoice for 10,000. Let's go to the home page, uh, create invoices, and then customer name. Let's leave the other information optional. And let's use this item 10 pieces, 1,000 each. To 10,000. I will click save here. Again, QuickBooks will remind you that there's an available credit. And then I will click yes so we can apply the credit. All right, so 5,000. Done. All right, I will click save and close. The customer center, we now have a 5,000 balance from the customer, positive amount. Let's pay this in full. I'll go to the home page and then receive payments. So let's receive the payment for the full payment. So 5,000 and the date is July 27. Let's say this is a check number and let's deposit the money to the security bank. And let's make sure that the invoice is checked. So the original amount is 10,000 and there's already an applied payment or credit of 5,000. So the amount due is 5,000 and that's the amount of our total payment now. I will click save and close. Okay, so going back to the customer center, the customer has now zero balance in his account. 
All right, so that's how we record advance payments from customers. For more QuickBooks tutorials, tips, and tricks, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.